Vermont feeling is authentic, first and foremost. We don't do things for effect. We do things for a pragmatic reason. This is the place where Yankee ingenuity really birthed. Yeah, well, Mount Snow was originally started in 1954. And through the years, it has uh, just been a pleasure to so many generations of skiers. I think what makes people really like Mount Snow is that it's truly Vermont. A lot of our guests come from the New York metropolitan area, and so they can escape from the city and come to a place that's pure Vermont. Just like you would envision what Vermont is, that's what it's like here. What is Vermont? What is Vermont style? Oh gosh, that's a challenging question coming from somebody that has was born and raised here. It's just kind of what I know. Um, but I think it's familiar, it's comfortable, it's friendly, it's genuine. We really trusted the Vermont ethos, which says, build what you need, and the simplicity and elegance of servicing that need will be attractive in and of itself. What we're trying to do is blend this as much as we can with original elements of a Vermont vernacular architecture. It's a different architectural design than some of our other buildings, and it's really the first piece of what we hope will be a whole residential complex here at Corinthia. I'll tell you a funny story. Mount Snow got its name not because it's a snow mountain, but because Farmer Snow, Mr. Snow, owned a farm right here. In terms of the master plan of Mount Snow, it's really two separate areas. There's the main base area, and then there's the Corinthia, where we are here today. With the base lodge in particular, it's a relation to the ski lifts themselves, how to make it seamless for people to come in and out, not have to walk uphill. They can glide right back down to the lift. So you have all these different types of people, and they're all focused at the front entrance. So to handle them in a flow that's really graceful. People, when they walk through those doors, are astounded at the architecture and the design. They love the openness. They love the fact that they can look outside and see these beautiful views. They love the windows. So you see a lot of a blend. You see the shiplap wood siding on the outside. Um, you know, a lot of the features are a little more Vermont traditional, but the overall design of the building is fairly contemporary. You know what? They love that fireplace these guys put together. They love the design. It was this idea of this massive firewall of stepped biofuel fireplaces. Oh, don't forget that. We have an awesome, we have two levels of good food. But if you go to the third floor, you're like up in the clouds. You're eating really good, you know? You kind of come upstairs, you head left to right, and then you come out underneath the low roof and there's this like huge view going right up to level three, past level three, with this big, warm, wood-colored ceiling that, you know, usually you never see because it's a brand new technology that my structural engineer figured out. We could actually do a wood roof in a type two fireproof building. The guys in the ground were really great. You know, you couldn't find a, a group of more dedicated workers. A lot of the guys being local, they know that they're gonna go and tell their friends and their family that they, you know, had a part in building this building. Um, I know I did being local. It's, it is pride, yes, and you're proud to be a part of it. And me personally, I'm history of this building, you know? I get to be the first one to work here and really put my mark. I think you're always gonna have people who are a little nostalgic, you know? They like the old base lodge, but I think when they come in here, and they see, I hear wow a lot. Because when you walk into the main area of this base lodge, it is wow. I think people are excited. It's a new space and so naturally people are just, this is great. They kind of feel like somebody's been listening to them or they're thinking of them. I'm very excited about what's to come. The Corinthia Base Lodge is the focal piece of the development here, but we also plan to put in over 100 residential units that will match architecturally what we've already started with the Base Lodge. When those condos get built and you bring that right next to the base lodge, it's just gonna put 
the whole picture together and it's just gonna make sense. There was something in the way we were all corralled together that I, good ideas came from so many people and that's, that's really the story I wanna tell about this place.